Hey guys, Ozzy here, and welcome to Oz Pinions, a repository for my Oz Pinion on television series, animes, products, and streaming services. Please stay tuned for more content. That would be very interesting. So we'd have three from each universe, which would seemingly mean that Tom Holland's rogues gallery is not being used which actually makes sense if you listen to the thing the idea that i have what's going on so the next question that seems to be on well at least on my mind i don't know if anybody else is thinking it but i do know that people are running assumptions that green goblin is going to be the one running the show if this sinister six is what coalesces um People seem to think that it's going to be Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. <coughs> I actually wonder, personally, because we have um, Doc Ock being in this, and Alfred Molina's portrayal of Doc Ock was very comic accurate for a lot of things. Um, the brain power that he had, the char the charisma that he had. Um, so I kind of wonder if we're looking more into a situation where instead of we've got Green Goblin running it, if it's actually going to be Doc Ock. There's another reason why I think that. If you watch the trailer, the only member of the Sinister Six that is actually fully shown that you actually get to see the actual actor who plays him on screen and hear their voice is Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. I would tend to think that reveal right there in and of itself is a big deal. Um, noticeably, Jamie Foxx and Thomas Hayden Church, and other than his voice, Willem Dafoe, were not shown at all. These are all big stars that could draw more audience to this than is already being shown. This has taken over the highest viewed trailer by a long shot. In its 24 hours, it blitzed Endgame like nothing. This is the highest viewed trailer out there in its first 24 hours. So, I think there's a reason why the only villain who's actually shown is Doc Ock. In the comics, in the past, Doc Ock has run the, six, the Sinister Six. And he's done a good job of it. And from seeing how good of a character Alfred Molina portrayed in the initial Spider-Man series and with what he has said which is <coughs> this is supposed to be his character after the events of Spider-Man 2 um, so I tend to believe that they're going for a more, you know, comic book accurate Doc Ock, who is more charismatic, who is more, you know, the tactician and everything. So he could definitely run the Sinister Six. Uh, he does demand a lot of respect. And even when he was being fully controlled by the mechanical arms... He still showed that charisma, and he still showed that ability to plan. <coughs> so I truly believe that that could happen here. We could see Doc Ock running the six. At least that's my opinion. I don't know. You guys have to come up with your own. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please go down to the bottom and click that thumbs up like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, would you please consider subscribing to the channel? And then, if you did both of those things, 
Would you also go down and find that notification icon? It looks like a bell. Click on that and you'll get notified anytime I upload new content. Guys, I love shooting these videos for you and I hope to be doing this for a long time coming. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Ozzy out. Bye.